Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Orange Family Homestead. So one question everyone's been asking lately is how's the hog trap situation going and have we caught any pigs in the Jaeger Pro trap yet? Well, no, we haven't. No pigs yet, but my neighbor just called and the guy that actually works for my neighbor that's doing the trapping just called and said he wants to come move the trap. So we're gonna, we, look at there. Isn't she pretty? Oh, yeah. Yes, she's pretty. So we're gonna go help him move the trap. Maybe talk to him a little bit about what he's got going on. Had some suggestions on one of my videos. Let me shut this door. Had some just suggestions on one of my videos about moving that thing into the brush and kind of brushing it in and hiding it a little bit better. And I think that's a great idea. And I think that's probably what we're gonna do. So let's go move a hog trap. Anything you'd like to say? Um, no. We're going to move some hog traps. I think you pretty much summed it up. That's why I love her. Talk about perfect timing. We got over here just as he was picking the trap up. The only thing I had to help him move was the gate. <laughs> I was gonna help him move the whole trap, but we're gonna move it over here to the edge of the timber you know, on another trail where these pigs are coming in. I don't know if you could see on the drone as I was flying over, you can see those trails going everywhere where these pigs just run all over the place, but they use the same trails for the most part, but no luck on that one for the last week and a half or so. So we're gonna come over here to a different trail and set this thing up. So we're gonna move it over here, tuck it back in this corner of this field. It was out there in the wide open. We're gonna tuck it over here in the corner, and let me show you why. You come over here, these are oak trees that had lots of acorns on them in the fall. But check out the ground. The pigs have come in here and rooted all this up. Looks like cows have been standing under these trees in the shade, but it's just from the pigs rooting. So we're gonna set the trap up right there. Camera lady. What's up? So these panels, these are uh, welded panels with wire panel wired onto it and then a pin system holding them all together and everyone's concerned about the pigs being able to tear out of this thing. But he also comes back in here at every joint or most every joint probably and drives a T-post. So it is anchored into the ground pretty well, It'll be tied to that and I don't think the pigs are going to be able to get out of this thing at all. So I'm not a professional pig trapper, but this guy over here is as close as they come to being a professional. Mm -hmm. I think he traps pigs pretty much year round in our area. How many pigs have you trapped in the last year or so, you think? I got 253 pigs last year and I'm over 100 pigs already since January. So here we are, mid-March, he's already trapped over 100 pigs just in what, in our county, pretty yeah. much? Yep. Just in our little area, not here on this property, but within probably a 20 mile radius. Yep over a hundred pigs already. Um, everybody on my channel says, what do you do with them? What do you do with them? And uh, I tell most people, you can eat a few. Some of the small sows are pretty edible in the cool parts of the year. But what do you yeah. do with most of them? 
ultimate in the end they're getting eradicated going to hunting places or somewhere some of them are just eating, being killed and just, slaughtered just yeah so these pigs are a nuisance animal they're not a game animal so there are some hunting ranches that'll buy a few but usually that's only going to be the big boars that because mm -hmm. people want to come in and hunt on a commercial ranch yep. so they want to shoot a big boar so they'll pay for some of those but guys we're just trying to get rid of these pigs because they cause damage they're destructive um josh here works for my neighbor uh, they've got a big ranch and they run several hundred head of cows so six seven hundred six seven hundred cows and they've got creep feeders everywhere for their calves the pigs get in those creep feeders eat all the feed tear up the feeder they're just destructive they'll tear everything up now we don't have a whole lot of problem with everyone seems to think they're dangerous and they'll they'll get after you i've i've lived here my whole life and dealt with pigs i've never had one get after me any of my kids any of my animals but they very well could on you know if you had small calves or something being born well they carry every disease that there is i mean right they're they get into everything and anything that can yeah eat the, anything dead yeah so like i said they're just a nuisance animal we're trying to get rid of them because they're not native to our area they're feral pigs they're not a wild pig necessarily they're a feral animal that's not native to our area and they cause lots of damage you're doing an excellent job Try. holding that tailgate down. Mm -hmm. Well, here's what he's baiting the trap with. It's a creep feed mix that they feed their calves just across the fence. And the reason he's baiting with that right now is because obviously that's what the pigs are trying to feed on on their property, trying to get into their creep feeders that they've got out for their baby calves. So as I said in the other video, this trap is made by a company called Jaeger Pro. Got it all set up. The only thing you get if you buy the Jaeger Pro trap is mainly just the uh, the gate system. Does the camera come with it, or is that separate? They sell they sell the whole trap, but we only bought the gate and the camera. Okay, so I was wrong. You can buy the whole trap together, or you can just buy the gate and the camera, and then build your own trap, which may save you a little bit of money because this is a pretty expensive trap. But uh, to having that remote capability, Josh can sit at home at night, and his phone will set off an alarm when the camera takes a picture and he can kind of keep an eye on it stay at a distance not bother the pigs or anything there's no need for trip wires or you know gates that that may fail with the, with the system he's got on his phone with the app he can just hit a button and release that gate and slam it down shut so pretty awesome deal he's just setting up the camera got it all moved didn't take really very long a lovely wife over here she's having a great time watching anyways Almost done. So we got the trap all moved, everything set up, rebated, ready to go. Josh is still just kind of cleaning up, finishing up, getting his camera all set up, but it's 2.20 and I go to work at three o'clock. So it's time to go home, take a shower, and actually start the day. Yeah, start the day off at three o'clock, right? Well guys, no pigs in the trap yet. Hopefully we'll have some caught soon, Ugh. or we'll just bounce across this rough pasture. <laughs> but uh, stick with us. Maybe in a video in the next couple days, we'll be able to show you that Jaeger Pro trap full of pigs. Hopefully, because we need to get rid of these things. They're just nasty, destructive, tear everything up, spread disease, really not good for a whole lot. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Got the trap moved. Everybody's been wanting to know how that progress has been going with the pigs, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video. Hi, huh, Mom. Yep. Peace out. A-Town. Sing it. H-Town. Oh, H-Town. H-Town.